As the Ginfast Academy moves across Australia, the second stop was in Brisbane at one of Australia's premier CrossFit facilities, CrossFit Touring. Mike Towner, head coach, welcomes us as the host of this academy stop. My name's Mike Towner, head coach here at CrossFit Torian. Uh, we've been open about 12 months now. We're just trying to create a space that people could do everything under one roof. And of course, most of us wish we had access to something like this when we were young. Mate, I think it's really exciting to think something like this has is, is come to pass. Um, I wish I had a stumbled across something like this when I was a kid. It's even, the Academy's even better than I actually expected it to be. I knew it was going to be really cool and um, I'm jealous that I didn't get to be a part of something like this when I was a teen. Um, when I think about what I was doing and the kind of guidance that I really could have used. Uh, so this is our second camp so far and so far I've been super impressed. There's, uh, there's some talented kids out there and I don't mean just talented in terms of what the actual physical capabilities but just some really nice kids as well who are uh, much more mature than I was at the age of 14 and 15 anyway. So it's, it's been surprising, but a pleasant surprise though. Gene Cena, CEO of Again Fast Australia, and Brian Buckholz, an elite performance coach, developed the Again Fast Academy program. Gene tells us about his motivations for the program and how he plans to use it to create opportunities for everyone in the industry. You know, I didn't really get into it to sell equipment. It was an opportunity to, to sell equipment. I liked the brand when when the opportunity came up, um, I liked what, what they were doing in the US, so it made sense. But really, you know, again, fast recruitment is a vehicle for us to, to fund and to do these other cool things. That's kind of my motivation. It's not completely altruistic, though. I mean, you know, if we have uh, Australians at the top of the podium, um, you know, it's proven guys like Cadell Evans has done wonders for cycling in this country. Now at the the pinnacle of Australian tennis, you know, has a lot more tennis courts with uh, people on them. So, you know, if we think about it in that context, having good performance at the pinnacle is going to help all CrossFit boxes in terms of their membership, and and in turn, that's going to obviously help businesses that are relying on that. I'd like to see our region as a whole be very competitive worldwide. That's my goal. I'd like to see that on the level where we're at right now. But it's, it's it's going to be a lot easier to do it with these kids coming up. That they're all coming up together, all chasing each other, and all bringing the level right up. The academy has specialists on the team, like Jane Fogg, who is there to ensure the academy kids get the right mix of programming and load appropriate for their age. I'm part of the CrossFit Kids seminar staff, so I get to teach others how to teach kids. So I have a passion in uh, developing good movement in uh, the early years, and then moving it when they're into their teenage years, perhaps introducing some weight, which is where we're seeing them go now. I'm passionate about having kids move well and just enjoy life. So for them to be able to do that and then progress into this sort of sport is fantastic. You know, I, I really do compare the performances and the attitudes of these kids to myself, you know, having been a teenager once before. And I think, you know, what was I doing when I was 14, 15, you know, getting up to mischief and, you know, um, I think these kids are just absolutely amazing and the, the things that they're able to do having started CrossFit so young um, and learnt these movement patterns and sort of jumping on this program while they're young and they're developing, it's absolutely phenomenal. Like that, These kids will be able to do things, they'll be able to outdo the Games athletes now in no time, you know. I, I'm glad that I will be gracefully stepping away in my own time so that I don't get shoved out by these kids. But you know, I'm, I'm scared to think of what they'll be able to do after seeing what they can do now from the age of 14 to 17. Yeah, I think what it's doing is sort of formalising and putting some structure around uh, a progression for kids to, to get started in the sport. But I think it's important to delineate between CrossFit the sport and CrossFit the strength and conditioning program because people get that confused. Um, they are two very different things. CrossFit the sport needs to be approached uh, in a very different way. Car and Rob are there to put the kids on the right track, keep them safe as intensity and load increases. Yeah, for me it's about uh, passing on, uh, I guess, my knowledge and, and things that have worked for me. So over the years I've done a lot of trial and error, doing my own programming and that sort of thing, played with different areas, uh, dealt with little niggles. So, Seeing these kids maybe falling into those patterns, trying to get them out of those patterns, steering them in the right direction so they can do it for a long time, but also allowing them to progress a lot further. 
the list is so long. <laughs> um, you know, I think about the very early stages trying to find my way with CrossFit, you know, um, we were just kind of winging it, you know, and um, trying to figure out what I could and couldn't do. And it was always just trial and error. Everything was trial and error. Can I? Yes. Can I? No. Um, you know, making a million mistakes in order to learn. Having made those mistakes, either going too hard, not doing enough, um, you know, technique, things like that, progression through load, things that we learn um, with niggles and injuries through our body and, and what brings that about and what's important in recovery. We're now able to give this information to these young athletes so that they can learn from our mistakes rather than having to make those mistakes all on their own, um, which is which is amazing, you know, and they, they can sort of progress faster and better and, you know, be safer, you know, long-term athletes. Yeah, I think that's true for everybody who's competitive at this point in time. You know, most of them had to figure it out. They've been through different programming options and coaches and all that sort of stuff. And it's getting to the point now where we're, you know, several years in at a high level that there's some good methodologies and science set out there. And if you can find that for people and make it easy for them to, to get out there, it's only going to be good for the, I guess, the foundation of the sport. That's the thinking behind it. Obviously, these kids are the, the future of, of uh, CrossFit. Um, particularly at a competitive at, on the competitive side so you know we wanted to help move that along as quickly as possible oh, oh man you know I think Australia has one of the biggest followings of CrossFit as it is and we're starting to be recognized as you know a serious competitive region and um, and you know we love our sport here in Australia and and the kids absolutely thrive on it and um, I think this is really going to bring out um, the opportunity for a lot of young athletes to really develop through the sport and um, you know in Australia will be right up there. So we, one of our stated goals when we started again faster was to get a, an Australian on the podium at the CrossFit Games. And I guess when we think about that as, a, as an objective, you know, it makes sense to sort of uh, invest in the grassroots, you know, build a pyramid and, uh, you know, help, I guess, the, the best make it to the top. Judging by the talent of the kids that have walked through the doors at the Again Faster Academy camps, there's no doubt some of these kids will be truly successful in the sport of CrossFit, potentially one day be the champ.